Hey YouTube, I've been going over a lot of the different interviews from people that were there during the Parkland school shooting and I just want to point out two of them for you right now um, and then ask some questions because I'm trying to make sense out of all of this. I actually was in the bathroom at the moment and I came back to my classroom and I knocked on the door and the fire alarm went off and um, principal came on the speaker and just said everyone needs to evacuate right now so that's what we did uh, as I was going down the stairs I heard a couple shots fired everyone was freaking out saying that it was a gun and um, as we were walking the whole class together I actually was speaking to the suspect Nicholas Cruz and as I was speaking to him, he seemed very, I don't, I don't know what the word I want to say is, but um, he was trouble in middle school, so I kind of joked to him about it and said, I'm surprised you weren't the one who did it, and he just gave me a huh? So uh, that's really? really what happened. You were walking down the hall, he had already fired at that time? Yes, sir, with him. Weren't you scared? Um, in the moment I wasn't because there was obviously definitely another shooter involved, but... Oh, you think he was not the only one? No, definitely not. Why do you say that? Um, because when shots were fired, I saw him after the fact. So, and the shots were coming from the other part of the building. So there definitely had to be two shooters involved, I believe. That's the first I've heard of that. Did you see any other students who were wounded? Um. Okay, now I want you to keep that in mind. The fact that she was walking down the hall with Nicholas Cruz, uh, allegedly, and um, the fact that she really is adamant in saying that there had to be more than one shooter because she saw him after hearing shots further down the hall. So, um, it's really confusing and I don't know why, uh, if that's the case, nobody else is really focusing on the fact that was there more than one shooter. I'm gonna play a different interview now from a teacher and this is where it gets kind of confusing you are hearing from one of those heroic teachers I'll fast forward it some. Strange autopilot mode where I pivoted on my feet. I unlocked my door and the kids just start pouring in my room. I don't know how many kids were in there, but I was pulling them and getting them in and shouting at them to get in the room. And then I suddenly saw the shooter about 20 feet from me, standing at the end of the hallway, actively shooting down the hallway, just a barrage of bullets. And I'm staring at him thinking, why is the police here? This is strange because he's in full metal garb, helmet, face mask. Uh, bulletproof armor shooting this rifle that I've never seen before I don't know when I decided it was the right time to close the door I grabbed the handle with both hands and that's when I got nicked or grazed or whatever okay um, <laughs> we can uh, or you can watch the rest of this if you uh, want to on ABC News dot go dot com and um i really just want to focus on what she said right there because it makes absolutely zero sense in uh, correlation to everything everyone else has said that has been there if she's saying because mind you nobody has actually said that they have seen nicholas cruz shooting uh nobody has actually said that it was, you know, assumed that it was him based on, I don't know, I, they, they never really said how they knew exactly that it was him because it's not like they found him with the gun and as far as I know, there aren't any surveillance videos. However, 
Nobody has actually said that they saw him shooting. She is the only person to have seen the shooter with a, as she said, barrage of bullets. Um, now, I found it extremely, like, uh, I don't know, confusing that she said, at first glance, she thought the shooter could be a police officer because of the way he was dressed in full metal garb, complete with a helmet, face mask, and bulletproof armor. I'm starting to think, why is a police here? This is strange. So, here's my issue. How could that have possibly been Nicholas Cruz? There are so many other things that go into play. For one, there's no way he could have been um, shooting dressed like that w without any form of having that on when he was seen by that uh, girl, Alexa, that I just showed you in the first interview. I mean, nobody ever said anything about him changing. There were no marks on his face from wearing the, the facial gear. There was, I mean, no indication that he was dressed in such a way. Also, mind you, they said that he took an Uber there. So how would he get an Uber dressed in bulletproof armor from head to toe and a gun case at that and the Uber not even blink an eye and just drop him off in front of a school? I mean, that also m makes no sense. If so, that Uber driver really should probably be fired. If I'm even buying that. <laughs> happened but my question is this let's assume I want to assume that both of these ladies are telling the truth completely as they saw the events happen if that is the case and they are both telling the complete truth in full detail or every detail that they um, gave us, then who was actually shooting? Because Nicholas Cruz can't be shooting down the hall and walking down the hall with Alexa wearing the opposite gear of what the shooter was wearing. Was there a second shooter? If so, who and why? And why the bulletproof armor? These are questions that I feel like really need to be given some attention. Um, I don't know why things like this are gone without really being um, addressed, but all of these different accounts are really starting to get annoying. Two opposing facts or two opposing statements cannot both be the truth. So I am not saying that I definitely know one way or the other what happened in this case. I was not there. However, I know that we need answers to these questions and I'm starting to believe that there's a lot more to this than any of us probably even want to know. I don't want to speak about my opinion too much. I just wanted to bring you this information and get some feedback from you on what you think is really going on.